there we go nice and clean and good to go let's look at that example on page 40 it's a beautiful example straight to the point very informative so please be on the lookout as we crack this baby up um what how does it work push button liquid in okay so i think if you push the button the liquid comes out interesting so um this is page 40 and let's go this is page 40 and um equilibrium of beams let's look at that example example on page 40 is there is your beam oh my beam is terrible there is your beam and they gave us a reaction point there and the reaction point there and you've got a force acting downwards there and you've got another force acting downwards there they call this left and they call this right now and there's another force of 85 going down that way so this is 85 newtons and this is 50 newtons and this is 65 newtons got a cat here guys so please don't be alarmed my name is Ted um, yeah so as we go let's figure this out let's crack this baby so what you do here is basically you work on the one moment one uh, moment and you disregard the other one simply by making a referral point on the other one to get the other one so in this case to get the moments of L you have to work as R as your referral point R so this is a symbol for moments. Moment dot R is equal to zero. Then there is that standard rule that says clockwise forces or anti-clockwise forces should be equal to clockwise forces. In this case, um, if we are taking our moments at this point, so it means that we've got L as a figure out as an unknown, 65, 50, and 85 acting on this body. So what do we do with all of that? What we do here from this point, we look at the distances given. Um, this is 3 meters. The distance between L and 50 is 1.2 meters. And this is 1 meter from the end of this L to the end of the beam. And this 85 is 1 meter away from the point R. So in this case, if we are starting our moments here, we're going to look at 85. When you are in this position and you look at 85, it is one meter away and 85 is going downwards. So for you to get the angle as in the clockwise or the anti-clockwiseness, you just protrude this and think of it as a cable that you have it here, you tie it onto this 85 and think of this force. This force is influencing this way and this way is a clock. A clock works that way so it's on the clockwise side. So in this case, the clockwise side is the 85. How far is it? Force times perpendicular distance. Remember, moment is force times perpendicular distance. In this case, the force is 85 multiplied by the distance, which is 1. And on this side, we look at the 50. The 50 is 3 meters away. And if you protrude it further, it has an anti-clockwise effect towards the R. In this case, it is on the anti-clockwise side so we're gonna put it here as 50 times 3 meters next one is the l l is how many meters away it is 3 plus 1.2 which is 4.2 meters away and what is the value of l we do not know that is what we need to calculate and find out in this case we are going to say l seems to have a opposite if we are here and we are working with L going upwards. This looks very much clockwise to me. If I put a string attached to here and L, it will tend to go that way. And this way is clockwise. So it comes on this side is now L multiplied by, what is the value of the distance? 4.2 meters. There you go. And now lastly, least but not last, we've got the 65. 65 is... 3 meters plus 1.2 meters plus 1 meter away from R. So in this case, this is 4, 5.2.
and what effect is it having? Is it having a clockwise or anti? Think of a string that's attached to the 65 and this force is going down one. So this looks very much anti-clockwise. So in this case, it comes onto the anti side, anti-clockwise side, which is 65 by um, 5.2. You work out the calculator, boom, boom, bam, and L is equal to 95.95, I think. 0.95 newtons. There we go. You do the exact same thing to get the value of R while at point L. If I was you, I wouldn't look at the textbook. I'll try the example myself and then work towards understanding. So in this case, you take your moments about L, which is equal to zero. You do the same thing, um, anti-clockwise should be equal to clockwise, uh, to clockwise, and you work it out from this point, boom, boom, bam. If you don't understand it, look at the gray book, Greg in the textbook, and in this case, R is 104 Newton. Straightforward calculator skills nothing complicated now to check if you're on the right track or not this is what i like about moments you can always see if you're on the right track or not so to check this out once you've got the value of r and you've got the value of n it means that you know the values of that you know the value of these and you've got all these forces that are acting on there so if you sum up the forces that are going up and you sum up the forces that are going down the sum of all those forces together should give us zero. It should balance out. This means that if I say 104 plus 95.95, this should give me 199.95. Because this is technically 200 newtons. If I sum up all the forces that are going down, which is 65 plus... 50 newtons plus 85 newtons this is going to give me 200 newtons therefore all my forces that are going up and all the forces that are coming down there we go up and down so it's 200 and 200 so this means that they're equating so therefore the force force the, the beam is balanced and i am on the right track and I'm feeling good about it. And Bob's my uncle. Boom shakalaka. Keep on grafting and do what you have to do. Let me know if you need any assistance. I'll be glad to help you out.